The recommendation is that you should eat five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. However, we know that it's very difficult as a parent to get your child to eat this many fruits and vegetables. So my advice to you is just try and eat as much as you can. And even if you can get that little extra portion in at some point in the day or some point in the week, that is going to help benefit your child. And one of the best things you can do for this is actually just to have healthy things visible around your house. So in your kitchen, if you have fruit and vegetables visible, or if you have healthy fruit bars visible, or you know, just something that isn't a fast food or a processed chocolate bar, having these things visible, we know will increase their intake. Now, often parents will say to me, okay, great. I want to try and get more fruit and vegetables and healthy fruit into my children and, and non-processed foods. But actually these are really expensive. The expensive ones are things that are pre-processed, pre-packaged. If you just buy fresh available from your local store or in your, in your local shop, uh, those, will, those will be perfect. So if you buy these fruit and vegetables or fresh produce, take them home and then actually chop them up or even cook them while they're around, then that we know as psychologists that that will help uh, increase healthy behaviours. And children who observe their parents preparing foods are far more likely to go on and prepare those foods themselves. And a key thing in terms of encouraging any eating behaviour in, in in a child and also adults is allowing them a sense of control. So rather than telling them they're going to eat something, you need to allow them to select something or choose something because that way they feel like they have more control over what they're doing and that will help them feel more positive about their eating behaviour. Giving them that selection is definitely going to be a benefit and help.